Okay. Um, then, in the hard constraint uh, version, it's pretty hard to optimize. So we usually use a soft constraint version, which means for each theta, we actually can find a number da, a coding number da, so that we can rewrite the hard constraint version as the following. So we minimize the loss of a W and a B, and plus lambda 2 divided by 2 and square root of, uh, square of L2 long of W. So this term is called uh, L2 regularizations, or squared reg L2 regularizations. You can prove by Lagrange multiplier that these two forms are equal equivalent to each other. So lambda here is a hyperparameter. If we choose to zero, that will have no effect on the model capacity. If we choose to a larger one, for example, if we choose infinity, then we force all the W gonna be zero. Any questions so far? Then we can visualize how it works. The green circles is the loss function, and the optimal point is tilde W star. So we can solve it by minimize the loss function over uh, the training data and uh, weight. Then if we pr plus the regularization term here is the origin curves. So if you're close to the original point, the small value you get. If you're far away, then you have a larger value. So that then the optimal position is between the original x and y equal to zero, and also between the optimal um, on the original loss. Because of the L2 long, we drive the tilde W star toward the original point. So if you have a larger lambda, this force is uh, bigger. If you have small lambda, then we actually, the final position is close by to the tilde W star. Okay. Questions so far? Good. So why is it called weight decay? It's on on machine learning is called um, yeah, two regularization. So for weight decay, because let's compute the gradients. Compute gradients, loss plus regularization, we can, it's a plus, we can just rewrite the loss of the, uh, the gradient of the loss plus lambda times W. Use SGD, we know that every time we update WT minus, minus one by WT minus e, uh, eta, this is the learning rate times the gradients, and we do a bit of transformation, we know that the first one is one minus eta times w times wt, and minus the original gradient of the loss function. So usually, we choose a very small lambda. It's like your one, uh, one e minus three or one e minus six, and learning rate usually is small number less than one, and one minus eta times uh, lambda is pretty, it's it's more than one. So which means every time we times, we multiply the original, the previous point WT by small number and minus the original gradient we have, then we, we call it decay the weight. So people in the neural network theory, uh, community call this one is called weight decay. Actually it's just the L2 regularizations we have. <coughs> 